Hey everyone, Tragic here, and we've got a 10 pack of Battle Bond to open. Let's do it. So, this is another one that the professor at Tolarian Academy says it's one of the best sets for commander players. So, let's get into it and see. I had to flip it over. And hold on, does this have the little, ah, the secret side opener, which I can never do. I have to actually end up opening it all the way anyway. Here we go. And of course, we will be scanning up the rares. We got a mirror, an island. We got a Guafa Hazid, Profiteer. Legendary creature human. He's a 2 2. You can pay uh, Azorius. Put a bribery counter on target creature you don't control. Its controller draws a card. Creatures with bribery counters on them can't attack or block. Beautiful flavor. Give them a card, but they can't attack or block. So is that an okay card for Commander? I imagine it is. So it's been printed before. Battle Bond, 50 cents. Off to an okay start. Jubilant Mascot. Chain Lightning is a good uncommon. We'll scan that one up. It is not a Flooded Strand. The scanner just loves to scan up Flooded Strands where there are none. Chain Lightning is only a couple bucks, so we'll keep that. Gang Up, Light Walker. All right, looking through. Impulse is good, common. It's okay anyway. All right, moving on. Let's see here. All right, let's see if I can. Nope, it cannot be done. I do not have the touch when it comes to those style of packs. Spirit token, swamp together forever for two whites and enchantments. In his battlefield, you can support two. Put a one counter on each of two target creatures. You can pay one. Choose target creature with a counter on it. When that creature dies, the turn return that card to its owner's hand. Uh, it's got some possibility. So this set was made to be played um, as two-headed giant. And so that would be a card that would be good to go with your buddy. Um, which I never got a chance to play it like that. Someday maybe I will. For now, I'm just opening packs to see what's in here. Sickle Dancer, Wolf Bruiser, a Binox, the security, and that's it. All right, next up. Whoop, okay. There are some pretty decent cards in this set. Let's see if we can get them. Warrior, Forest, Foil Forest, Sower of Temptation. Fairy Wizard flying. When it enters the battlefield, gain control of target creature for as long as Sower of Temptation remains on the battlefield. So this was a reprint from like Lorwyn, I think. It's like three bucks. Step Glider Horror Beast Within. It's a good uncommon. I'll scan that one. As long as it doesn't come up as a flooded strand, then we are good. A buzzard, a ghoul, and a hunt beast. And some stuff. Alright. Next up, Beast Token, Forest Token, Regina Regna's Sanction. For each player, choose friend or foe. Each friend puts a one counter on each creature they control. Each foe chooses one untapped creature they control, then taps the rest. Great card for two at a giant. Nothing much you can do with that for commander. You don't have friends or foes, you just have opponents. Corruptor, Renewer, Battle Mastery, okay. Lightwalker, Initiate, Giant Growth, and an Imp, okay. There we go. So the trick is to peel it forward towards you. Island, Angel of Retribution, Foil Uncommon, and Angelic Chorus, Enchantment. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, gain life equal to its toughness. Cool. Probably works well with any life gain strategy. Hunter, Blood Flies, Battle Rattle Shaman, Pacifism, Construct, Tyrant's Machine. All the way down. All right, is that, that's really the trick? It took me two years to figure this out. Pure's Whim, Sorcery for each player, choose friend or foe. Each friend searches their library for a land card. Puts it onto the battlefield, tap and shuffles their library. Each foe sacrifices an artifact or enchantment they control. So can that work with 
with uh, Commander. Can you choose one of your opponents to be a friend? I suppose it goes with the uh, the politics of the game, right? 342, must see play outside of limited, so maybe I'm right. Insight, Fertilid, Invoker, Ghoul, Fox, Wolf, Warrior, Golem. Moving on. Nope. I did it sideways too much. There's like a little sweet spot to it. Get the Warrior, the Plains, Magus of Candelabra. You can pay X to untap X target's land. Target lands. So he's a candelabra of Thanos on a, on a stick. But he's not from the original antiquity set, so he's not worth much more than a dollar. Charm Seeker, out of bounds. Scoundrels, Claustrophobia, Duo, Strider. No. I did it. Why would it not let me do it all the way down? There's Will. Will the Kenrith, so as an emblem. Not a big one. Uh, we got a legendary Zinder Split. Eye of Wisdom as a foil. That's great. Legendary creature Homunculus. And he can partner with Okan. So I wonder if I'll get Okan in the next card right here. I cast the beginning of combat on your turn. Flip a coin until you lose a flip. Whenever a player wins a coin flip, draw a card. I think that's how it works. Yep. The partner ones came to make sure that you would actually, if you drafted this um, or broke it, you know, sealed, you would be able to partner with this two headed giant commander. So let's see how these do for current days. Uh, foil's kind of nice, right? So Buck 16 and Ocon. Oh, there's a hit. And I will switch those to foil. That was a hot pack right there. 849 for Zinder Split. 767 for Okan as foils. True Name Nemesis um, was worth quite a bit, but then it got reprinted somewhere else. It's only five bucks now. It's okay. Tough card to play against, I imagine. Right, so you should read what it does since it's a mythic and that's what you're doing, right? So it's one and two blue. It's a Merfolk Rogue. As True Name Nemesis enters the battlefield, she's a player. True Name Nemesis has protection from the chosen player. Yep. Can't block it. They can't block it with their creatures. They can't target it. It's tough stuff. Tandem Tactics. Thunderstrike. Prowler. All right. Okay. Where was True Name Nemesis reprinted? Commander 2013, I think it was the original. Battle Bond was the second. And then Time Spiral Remastered brought the price all the way down to five bucks. Zombie Mountain. Morphic Pool, another great card out of this set. This is one of the cards I was hoping to get. Dual Land. Morphic Pool enters the battlefield tapped unless you have two or more opponents. Add blue or black. Um, so great, just like a Underground Sea, other than. It's not a uh, swamp or an island, so you cannot fetch it. Um, still, I would feel like it would be an auto include in a lot of black and blue commander decks. So there we go, Morphic Pool. I will throw that one into a sleeve. Genesis Chamber, good uncommon. I'll scan that one up. Buck 98 for the original Dark Steel. Battle Bond 277, those are the only two printings. Kiss of the Amisha and Blood Feud Assassinate Mutation. I oh, like that crab, seriously. Primal Hunt Beast, Huddle Up, Hatchling and a Golem. All right, one pack left. Let's see what is left for us in these packs. Warrior Swamp, Stolen Strategy. For five, it's an enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of each opponent's library. Until the until end of turn, you may cast non-land cards from among those exile cards, and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast those spells. Solid. I would say that's pretty solid for Commander. 1549, I guess I'm right. It's a good red card for card advantage, right? 
Rescos Explorer, Decorated Champion, Nimbus Champion, Bellfright, Lightsmith, Dragonfire, Lagak, Hatchling, and a Night Market Guard. So that's it. Um, not bad out of 10 packs, right? So got a couple pretty decent cards there. So thanks for watching as always. Make sure to comment down below and I'll catch you later.